This is the Samsung Smart Remote for 2021. What's different is a solar cell on the back, so we can leave that face down, it will charge itself up. It's got USB Type-C there, if it becomes completely dead, just charge it up quickly off your fast charger. But apart from that, you would have your power on and off. You've got a voice command button there, depending if you choose Google, Alexa or Bixby. So I can hold down that voice command button and simply say, YouTube gardening. Brings me up gardening, or I can say, YouTube fast cars. Or I could say BBC iPlayer. Eventually, there we go. Or exit. Multi-view buttons, that's for your other channels or other numbers and colored buttons. Input left, right, up and down. Back button, home. Play and pause, hit play and pause. That comes rewind fast forward, etc. It rocks up and down there for the volume, in for mute, and again here, up and down for channels, in for guide. You, then you've got your quick fire buttons for Netflix, Prime Video, and Samsung TV Plus. Go into, where is it, general, power and energy saving, down there tells us there on our smart remote battery that's remaining if it's really low we can charge it up if not just leave it face down for that solar power to charge it up